We're here today to talk about the Future Wealth Report that was recently released from Scorpio Partnership and talk about some of the key findings with the high net worth markets around the globe. Maybe we can start by having everybody share what they thought was the most compelling or interesting piece of information that came out of the recent survey. Sure, I'm, I'm happy to start, Hannah. Um, I'll tell you, what, I took away a couple of really compelling things. One was that reputation really matters, uh, which is really not that surprising, right? We all know in this space that reputation matters. But what I thought was really interesting was the addition of how people are using social media and online technology uh, to, to really uh, research and understand firms and, and really, you know, sort of research reputations. I also thought that one of the interesting facts that came out was that the more wealthy you are, the more you tend to use social media and technology uh, in your wealth management activities. So, so for me, the, 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 the wealthier you are, the more you're online. Re really big headline there. Well, and on that point, I'd love to ask Seb a few probing questions. Do you think wealthier people are more connected and social because of their access to technology or because of their inclination to be more connected to their communities? Well, that's a great question. And firstly, thank you so much for all of you for reading the Future Wealth Report. It's like being in a big groupie session. It's wonderful. Uh, a lot of our research is done in complete isolation, so I'm, I'm thrilled that it's uh, touching the nerve that it has. And to your point, Hannah, the, you know, the, why are wealthy people doing what they do? I, clearly, there's no single answer to that. There is a trend towards more um, consumption of uh, digital um, options with more technology. And what we do know from other future wealth programs over the last five years is that it typically is um, that a high net worth individual earns, will own somewhere between three and seven devices. Uh, digital devices by which they can access the the world of the internet and fundamentally the world of finance. So that that's obviously the more more equipment you have, the more you might be able to access the space. Although there are primary pieces of equipment that they use. Your second point on the communities is a very very interesting one, and I'm sure April has some views on this because the community space of the digital world is increasingly popular to wealthy individuals but they're not necessarily followers. Because of their characteristic of being successful people in their own right, they expect to be leaders. And so the digital community is something where they can express their leadership and be part of conversations and drive those conversations, but also listen to what other people are doing with their finances in order for them to make their own decisions. Three to seven devices. Talk to us a little bit about what those are. I mean, I know I carry probably three or four around with me on a daily basis, but there are probably a few I'm not yet familiar with. Which is clearly why you're a very ultra high net worth person, you know, just by the number of devices. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're the obvious ones. You know, you'll have potentially one to two mobile phones, a smartphone within that. You'll have your iPad. You'll have your Apple probably in some form. You'll have your desktop. That makes you straight up to about five. If you've got two homes, you have another double living of that, so that's the sort of logical behind it. Yeah, interesting. Now, April, I know you have some thoughts about the research. Tell us what you found most interesting. So I think it's exciting for me to um, be able to point at some actual research that substantiates a lot of what I've been saying. So. Um, I think the important point here is just for people to take notice of things that they see in their everyday life. You know, it stands for the reason why we have a variety that ultra high net worth people who have access to devices, who have, you know, have those devices, number one. Number two, why would it be surprising that um, they wouldn't be technologically advanced and want to be leading edge? And then thirdly, I think the important point to notice, and this is something that was borne out in the um, Future Wealth Report, is the global mobile part of everything. So in today's world, the ultra high net worth, the high net worth, and even the mass affluent, um, the next gen, um, this is a group who um, isn't physically located in one place all the time. So they're not fixed. And I think that's one of the most important factors that um, we should pay attention to. It's having all of these mobile devices allow you to um, belong to a community that exists online without a physical community. So in the past, 
um, communities were, you know, your neighborhood or your country club, right? And today we have virtual communities.